Make sure you check out DJ Joe and Kiwi. Link in the description down at the end of the video. Hi, I'm Jason Crack and I was known as Drawing by the Book, and I'm back once again. And if you might be able to tell from my voice, I'm actually been kind of sick lately, which is great. I'll get into that in a second, because right now I want to talk about the art piece first, like I normally do. And in a couple of videos ago, I said how I wanted to do another Hunter x Hunter one. Well, I forgot that I had done this one, so when I then scanned it into the computer and redid it on my drawing, I had like great fun with it. I was always shocked by this one though, because it's like, this one has been like my favourite one to do. I had so much fun with it, I think it's super adorable and cute, but the popularity from other people has been a bit meh. Um, like I have been getting support for, from it and everything, but other people should be like, meh. I don't know if it's just because maybe it's me and my bat is into Hunter x Hunter, or maybe it's just because people don't know Hunter x Hunter as much as the other things I draw on everything. I don't know. But personally, I love this one. I loved how the shading turned out. I tried to very much go with the curve shading to actually give like more 3D effect and everything, which I think turned out really well. And I think I'll definitely be using that more often because I've been meaning to use it. I just keep forgetting to, but hopefully I can change that now and use it in future drawings because it does really work. Uh, it does really work well and it does really add a nice effect to the clothing, to the face and so on and so on. For the textures in the background, I decided to do like almost like a pinkish purplish wash with then a like nice yellowish glow around them just so it helps like their color palette because I went for a very much like unnaturalistic color palette. I just wanted to really like brighten them up and really make them stand out. So I went for bright yellow highlights and that and then the nice purplish shading and that and nice dark bluish which I think turned out really well and I really liked it. I took a lot of inspiration from my Natsuki one which I did on my Instagram and all that, you can go see it, it's the drawing, and where I've done like pink shading, and I really loved that effect, so I wanted to bring it into this one because I thought it would work really well for this one, and I think it definitely has. For the background though, as I said, the yellowish glow, I decided to do that as yellow is usually associated with happiness and that, and cheerfulness, so just having a nice yellowish glow just kind of helps just to show that and everything, show how happy they are, and it kind of gives that almost like effect, like a they're that happy they are glowing. <laughs> I've also put in like the effects of flowers and stars in the background. These were actually, I took them as inspiration straight from Alcala's bedroom in the anime where she's got all these flowers and stars and everything. As I think it worked really well. I wanted to do hearts and everything but I felt like it would instead give them the effect of lovers when that's not what they are. They're actually brother and sister and it's a very brother and sisterly love just because how close they are when the two of them are like don't fit in with the rest of their family so together they work really well and they have this really strong connection so I wanted to show that but Love Hearts didn't work because I thought I would just give off a different impression when that's not the case in the show okay so being ill sucks I hate it <laughs> Well, other people see it or at least people my age see it as like a yes day off school couple of days off school great I hate it I hate being ill I don't like being ill I don't want to be ill because being ill, I'm very much one of these people who's like, I can't play games and that when I'm ill. Which means, for me, being ill pretty much means stuck in bed, can't do anything, bored out of my mind. So I'd actually rather be in school, uh, uh, I'd rather be in school where I'm doing work, even if it's like the most mundane, boring work, like close reading or something, which I'm terrible at and I absolutely hate. I would rather be doing that than being stuck in my bed doing absolutely nothing. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> Uh, and the time of recording this, so I am, I am hoping to be back tomorrow at school, which will be nice, just actually be able to do stuff and everything. But being ill, it's also kind of stopped me from being able to draw, because it's kind of been messing with my head. So if you think about it this way, it's like the world's like in front of me, and then I'm way behind. So I'm taking like forever to actually catch up and actually respond to stuff. I'm just like very out of it right now. So I can't really struggling to like draw on that. So all my social media has like kind of stopped right now while I've been ill. So hopefully tomorrow I can also get back on that as well, start posting stuff again, because I do miss doing that and I want to, do some, do, bleh, want to start doing it again. But, yeah, being ill, it sucks. I've had worse illnesses, this one's alright, I guess, just sore stomach and woozy head. At the start it was pretty bad, so I couldn't, like, every time I tried to stand up I felt like I was going to pass out, which is pretty bad, but I've gotten a lot better now, so pretty, pretty good, pretty good. But, yeah. Not the worst one I've ever had, the worst illness I've ever had. Oh my god, I had the worst stomach bug I've ever had, as in I couldn't eat. Physically, anything I ate or drank would come up within the next hour. 
it was horrible. And I ended up just like not eating anything because I'd rather not eat anything than throw it back up. Because throwing up was just horrible. Because it wasn't like a normal throw up either. Like, where you just like throw up and it's like, cool, clean it off, done. It was like a proper like lingering, oh, sorry, you probably don't want to hear this. <laughs> But yeah, like, I ended up after that illness of just drinking water because it was the easiest thing to bring back up. So I ended up going for a couple of days of just pretty much not eating, which sucked badly. <laughs> but I did get over it within like a week, so then I could actually start eating again, which was nice. But that's definitely probably the worst illness I've ever gotten. That was absolutely horrible. I was on holiday as well, which made it even worse. The rest of the family off enjoying themselves, and here's me stuck in i think it was like a log cabin we were in and i was stuck there not being able to do anything because i was that horrendously sick if i went anywhere i'd end up just throwing up horrible i know once again probably not something you're overly wanting to hear but that's me i ramble i can't help it <laughs> but i'm gonna leave that here so i hope you enjoyed i have this was a really fun one for me to draw and i'll see you next time bye bye